Namaskar, good evening to all. A good teacher is a researcher too. That is what one of my teachers taught me while pursuing my post-graduation in education. And this I found to be true while teaching as an ad hoc faculty in the College of Teacher Education, Palasheri in the late 1990s. Not only did I learn my subject better, but also learned about learner needs. The bond that grew between the learner and myself often continued and by the time I began compiling papers which I had written for publication for the book to be released today, I decided I should dedicate it to my dear students who helped me grow professionally. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for responding to my invitation to join this program. A majority of participants to whom I have sent invitations are my former students whom I taught during 20 years of my teaching career. I have also sent a few to my current students in Christ Nagar College of Education and of course a few colleagues and friends. It's a great feeling to meet you all on this platform. In 1997, I was teaching in the Calicut University Teacher Education Center in Olur, Trishur. Trishur is called the cultural capital of Kerala and it holds regular film festivals. Once there was a film festival of Bergman. The film was introduced by Professor Shanmugadas, the acclaimed film critic. Soon, I too began to develop a passion for films, which later led me to pursue the adaptation of film for communicative language teaching for my PhD. Later, I've attended several inspirational sessions by Professor Shanmugadas, who, who when I met, last met in Trishu, suggested that I should publish my PhD thesis. So I couldn't think of a better person to do the honor of releasing my book on film-based ELT other than Professor Shanmugadas. I'm grateful to you, sir, for expressing your willingness to release my book. Several friends and acquaintances and senior teachers who I respect have also been invited. I welcome you all to this program. I would like to specially thank and welcome two very talented former students of mine, Ms. Reshmi, faculty of St. John's College Anchal, who will be introducing their guest and Ms. Saidada, faculty of SD College Ayalapura, will be offering the vote of thanks. Following my retirement, I decided to connect with my former students and continue to offer professional development sessions. Last August, after almost 25 years, I reconnected with my students of the 1997 batch in a virtual meeting. And last month, I again connected with a few students whom I taught in government colleges. In fact, this function is the first in the series of programs meant for former students and hence is titled Professional Development Program Number 1. So thank you all once again for joining this program. I now request Ms. Reshmi to introduce our guest, Professor Shanmugadas. Yes, Reshmi, take over. Thank you, sir. Um, it is indeed a matter of great happiness that uh, we are here to attend the virtual release of the book written by, uh, book on films by Dr. Chandrasekharan Praveen. And, um, yeah, I can't help mentioning a few, uh, you know, the days that um, during my period when Praveen sir used to show us a few clips from movies and he used to incorporate it into hit the teaching modules that were there actually. So that was very inspirational for me and I was, I mean, even now I, you know, I actually have, I have uh, him as a role model when I also try to incorporate these things in my uh, into my uh, mode of uh, my, into my teaching strategy. So moving on to the duty that has been assigned to me of introducing the chief guest, um, Sri Ais Chanmogadas. Uh, Sri Ais Chanmogadas started his professional career as a teacher in Mumbai and also served as a faculty of English literature in several government colleges across Kerala. His early associations with film societies inspired him to take part in the film society movement. In the latter half of the 1970s, Shanmugada started writing articles on cinema. He received the National Award for the Best Film Critic in 1999. He won the State Award for the Best Book on Cinema in 1996 for his work on Sat Satyajit Ray movies titled Sanjari Udavida. Deva uh, Nartagande Krodham his article on M.T. Vasudevan Nair's Nirmalyam won him yet another state award for the best article on films for the year 2013. 
He is a recipient of the Kerala Sahitya Academy Vilasini Puraskaram for the best literary criticism for his book Shariram Nadi Nagatram on the God of Small Things. He is also the recipient of the Kurikodan Award for the best book on cinema in 2012 and Film Critics Association Awards for the best book on cinema during 1997 and 2006. As a part of the virtual uh, community, the virtual family, uh, we welcome you, sir, and thank you for joining us today. Thank you, sir. I now request Professor Shanmugathas to formally release the book. Let me begin by addressing you all as respected teachers of English, you know, Dr. Praveen Chandrasekharan and his students. Some of uh, you know, the students are now teachers of English and uh, some of his other students are doing research and uh, some I'm sure will do research. Now I am right now just a retired professor of English, not a doctor, you know, PhD holder. And I'm very delighted and honored uh, to release this book on cinema. I have written seven books on cinema and one book on that novel, Arundhati Roy's The God of Small Things. Uh, let me be brief, you know. Uh, you know, right now, uh, at Sri Theatre, Trishu, one particular film has been screened for the last two weeks. And the film is on Kumara Nashan. It's a fiction film directed by K.P. Kumaran and it is, it is Grama Vrichatle Kuil and tomorrow we are we intend to hold a sort of a crossing ceremony kind of thing and I have a strong feeling that uh, knowingly or unknowingly Kerala has uh, in some sense uh, dishonored the great poet uh, uh, tomorrow it is the last screening at 3 o'clock now uh, uh, the first film, the first full-length film, the first uh, fiction film on Kumar Nasha, which could be used uh, in the coming years by, not only by teachers of Malayalam language, but also by teachers of English. I'm quite sure that uh, many of the poems are prescribed. Nalini was, was a textbook. Somebody was talking to me about that. Now this book, Research Anthology, film-based ELT by Dr. Chandrasekharan Praveen. Uh, let me first, uh, you know, formally release this book. Uh, you know, on other occasions, uh, I should release the book by giving this book to somebody. Uh, now, let me do one thing, symbolically, to whom should I give this? To uh, I... Actually, uh, Miss Sarita had asked me for a copy of my PhD, right. and uh, it will be, be a bit of honor if you can give yes, it. Yes, surely, uh, you know, symbolically, you know. <laughs> I cannot uh, physically uh, give it to you. Now, let me release the book, you know. Thank you, sir. So, symbolically, you know, I have given this book to Sarita. Uh, Sarita. Dr. Sarita? Sarita. She's posting your PhD. She's posting your PhD. Yeah, thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Now, it's an honor. Yes. Now, one or two sentences about this book. I don't, uh, we should be brief. I began that way uh, at the most five or six minutes. Now, this book uh, has used as a primary text films like Bahubali, then uh, Bond films, and uh, one film which I liked very much when I saw it some years back, uh, which is a film adaptation of a classic of a novel, real masterpiece which I read just before my marriage, no, right before my marriage, right after my marriage. Anna Karenina, you know, 
happy families are all alike and such things. It's a wonderful novel which uh, I think was published just before the arrival of the train, just before the arrival of cinema. You know, the, one of the first films, Lumia films, you, remember, you know, you all remember arrival of the train. Uh, it's a novel in which train is the most important motive. Uh, when, when you watch the film, when you read the novel, you will understand that. Uh, you know, Bronsky and uh, Anna falling in love, that uh, winter, that uh, uh, a snowfall, that platform, and many such things, her suicide, and uh, uh, Karenin waiting for uh, maybe his mother or maybe uh, his wife, revelation, and at the end you have Anna committing suicide. You remember that. Now the novel, a very important uh, element in the novel is the soundtrack. When you read it, next time, please listen to that book. Now, I think that the most important sense organ of Tolstoy is his ears. You remember uh, Anna, when she arrived on the uh, platform, when, when she, she, she is seeing Karenin, and she is a bit, you know, he, it seems that, uh, you know, she comes back, and it, 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 as though my husband Karenin has, you know, donkey's ears, actually in, in uh, reality, he had a reason, haircut, because of the fact that she has fallen in love with Pronsky, the husband, you know, the, the, the visual, aspect of his, his look, he is with a donkey, you know, ears. Uh, now, Anna Karinina is a textbook which I taught for MA students. And I showed this film, this particular film, and there is one scene which, uh, you know, there is some sort of a, I was showing it to uh, the, the PG students from various uh, colleges. Vimala College and some other college and St. Thomas College and my college and there is one particular scene uh, which is a bit uh, what we call uh, you know adult kind of thing I think it is the in that film I showed it to BA students my college so if you screen this film and uh, uh, talk about these things you know it will help you to communicate more effectively to students you know so uh, let me conclude my words. You know, I do not want to you know, talk more. I should not do that. Uh, uh, now, let me take this opportunity to thank everybody. You know, whether it should be uh, being a teacher, suddenly fallen between two stools, two stools. I used to pronounce the word as you know, opportunity, but nowadays with uh, this bombarding of uh, Hollywood films, this opportunity, you know, they, they pronounce it, uh, you know, to need the opportunity. You know. When I uttered that word, I got suddenly confused, you know. Now, uh, let me thank everybody, Dr. Praveen Chandrasekharan, uh, Ms. Reshmi, Manchari, Anas uh, Kananalur, Kandi Surendran, Joseph John, Father Joseph John, I think I'm right, and other names are not visible. Each and everybody listening to me right now, I feel honored that I'm right now addressing teachers of English. I hope that all of you are also lovers of Malayalam poetry, Malayalam language, and I'm sure that there is uh, no doubt to it. I'm assured of that fact. You all are lovers of this art medium of the 20th century cinema. So, uh, let me wish you all a movie filled, uh, fruitful, meaningful future as teachers. I, I, I should also add let it be also poetry filled.
it will be also malayalam literature malayalam poetry field not only english you know uh, future in your classrooms thank you thank you so much sir uh, for releasing that book uh, now for the participants uh, a brief introduction uh, about the book uh, just to familiarize you with this i'm going to share my screen now this is the title uh, this is a cover page okay uh, what you see are, uh, are film posters of four main uh, films okay on which uh, the studies have been conducted and there are of course number of other films also it is published by notion press okay and uh, if you look at the content there are basically uh, three parts uh, the first part as you can see here on the left these are chapters from my own phd thesis okay uh, and it tells you how to adapt films uh, so anyone who reads it get the idea who so interest in using films uh, will def definitely benefit by reading this now uh, the part b section is basically papers which are presented in conference and seminars so you have uh, how, how you have chapters on how to generate language using films how to integrate film and novel and how to teach human rights education using film clips and about creativity you know you take one film clip you splice it add it to another film clip what you get is three film clips and a, and an entirely different version of the two combined so that possibility of exploration using uh, the film clips exploring creativity and nurturing creativity and even multiple intelligence you know uh, these days uh, we focus on multiple intelligence how movies can be used for nurturing multiple intelligence and you know i, I, I basically most of my students were teachers uh, trained to be teachers so how to teach teaching skills by looking at films so there are chapters on that and you know there's also a i have also guided a few uh, mbit dissertations on adapting films and film based work so the abstracts are also there in part c basically four films uh, one is bond films you know some a few years ago we celebrated 50 years of bond uh, bond films so i have made use of bond films uh, even the trailers from bond films i will show you that shortly and then again as sir mentioned anna karnina and this particular version from bernard rose was one i really like there are more three or four versions available but this version i like I, I, I attempted an appreciation of it and I'll show you a few tasks. And then of course the famous uh, and the most popular blockbuster Bahubali and how it can be adapted for teaching English. And then we also know the film English for English where Sri Devi struggles to learn English. And uh, I also look at how it affects, uh, how, what you can learn about teaching of English from that and so on. Okay. So let us see, uh, the criteria which I evolved from my PhD, this is the criteria for choosing films. There should be an element of interest. There should be humor. It should be easy to comprehend. And very importantly, there should be a strong visual element. And then there should be only one speaker at a time. Because you know, in ESL classrooms, uh, if many people speak, students find it difficult to grasp. And more importantly, the cultural background is important. Now, if you show just Western culture and if the students cannot fully relate to it, you may not achieve the desired effect. And of course, technical quality, the audio, the video, and the short composition. And what I found is, if the duration is under two minutes, you're going to benefit. If it's more, uh, it's not, we cannot be very sure that learners are going to be very attentive. Because these days, students have access to so many videos and they have short attention spans. Okay, so this is the criteria. You will get the detailed description if you read the book. Okay, now just for illustration purposes, let me show you a few tasks which I have built. And these were tested on groups of students and teachers. And uh, that is why I have included it here. Now, what is the theory behind it? You know, Scott Thornberry in 2000 came up with the idea, let us stop this over-reliance on published materials. You know, ELT is an industry in India. Oxford University Press, Cambridge University Press, they all publish a lot of books. Now, he said, let us put away these books and let the teachers bring their own material into the classroom. So this is the theory behind it. And this is, and in fact, this particular book of his, he tried to show how is it possible. 
which he calls a dogma approach. Okay. Now let us look at one film. There are several tasks I've done on Bahubali. This, these are a few. Now what is a rationale? This particular film was dubbed into several Indian languages. It was received by the young and the old alike. Okay. And you know, a, a study by Q and Lee, what they found is EFL learners, English as a foreign language learners, behaviorally and cognitively are more engaged on tasks when familiar content is made use of. Okay, so that is what made me do this. Okay, um, the, let me move on. Uh, there are tasks based on plots, there are tasks based on character based tasks, image based tasks, video based. I'll be showing you only a one or two. Uh, I also try to focus on vocabulary, the teaching of grammar, and on speaking skills and focus on writing skills. All this I've tried. Okay. So let us see, how, 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 I'll show you a couple of tasks. Now remember, you're going to see a few images and there are numbers for each, they are numbered. But you know, this is basically trying to rearrange the chronological order, put them in chronological order. This is one side. You, uh, to begin with, I can ask them to describe what exactly is the scene here? Why is this man killing this person? Uh, and they uh, use English to describe something they know. Here's another one. Uh, why, is she, why is he teaching her this? So they describe. They're using English. They know the content, but they are asked to describe. And you know this particular scene, this, uh, this is actually visual effects. Uh, uh, virtually it's impossible for someone to jump uh, like this, but then in the film it happens. But then the stunning uh, thing can be used to even a debate, whether it's dangerous or is it possible, and they can argue it out. Here's another one again, an underground water, uh, underwater shot, uh, uh, which is interesting and why he is doing that, you can ask them to describe. And of course, the sensational thing which tells you which is part one, which is part two. You know how people used to discuss after the first part one Bahubali was screened. So you can have a discussions based on that. Basically, I'm asking them to rearrange in chronological order, but the same task could be used for vocabulary building tasks, for writing tasks, for speaking tasks, and so on. Okay. Now this particular film, Mangal Monday, you must have seen. Uh, I've made use of this. This is for illustrative purposes. You see there's a party there and uh, wine is being served. This is Lord Canning. It is his uh, uh, program and an accident happens. You know, people are raising their wine glass for a toast. Uh, and you know, accidentally spills on, wine on this lady and see what happens. Uh, the white man is disturbed, another officer who is fond of that lady is equally disturbed and then he starts, starts to abuse him, threaten him, you see. And the poor fellow is scared, he runs away. And you see, he kicks him and beats him up. Now I could ask them to describe the whole thing or even I can give a task and ask them to write a report. You are a reporter, you saw this. Write a letter to the Queen complaining about the behavior of the English officer. Okay, some task like that. Okay, suppose you see this, that can be done. It's, it's a video based task. And you know, I can also relate it to human rights, how this gentleman is being treated. And today people are all conscious about human rights. So I can uh, introduce them to human rights also. Now Bond film, as I said, you know, it was the 50th year. Uh, I could show them clips about Bond villains, just two minutes clips about scenes showing uh, the villain at work. And then I'll ask them, who do you think is the worst or is the most notorious? And they have to justify it by looking at these clips. So in the process, they are also using language and also trying to develop the skill of evaluation. And this is Anna Karnina. And why I chose Bernard Rose's film is that there's one particular scene in which there is a horse race scene. And you can see the mastery of Bernard Rose in trying to show shots one after the other and capturing the emotions uh, the chain in, on, on the face of Anna. As you can see, this is a husband, this is Vronsky. And at this particular scene, I was really amazed at the skill of Bernard Rose to 
cut and show all these. So those who want to learn about film also can read this chapter and see the film. You get a complete idea of how film works, how the medium communicates. Okay. So this is uh, published by Notion Press. Okay. Uh, the ISBN number, it is 246 pages. It is black and white only and paperback. This is the dimension. Uh, it is available in Notion Press website on Amazon and also on Flipkart. So if you're interested, I uh, hope you'll buy it. So thank you so much. Okay, I'm stopping sharing my screen. Okay, so I hope you have got an idea about the film and uh, the book. Uh, uh, this is, uh, uh, there is a match. This, uh, the, those who are interested in research can also pursue it. Uh, it gives you an idea of how to use films for research purposes for language teaching and so on. Sociological research, uh, even psychological points and multiple angelins and so on. The possibilities are great. So I hope you'll also recommend this to your friends and uh, in, in departments where uh, the, they are offering courses in film. And these days film is part of the MA course for the undergraduate program also. So thank you all so much. It's a request to everybody right now listening to you know my words. Uh, there should be at least 50 you know people you know. So I personally request everybody to do everything that you can to uh, make this book accessible to as many teachers of English throughout Kerala. You know, telling everybody, all English teachers, you know, in at least in colleges, you know, and if you can uh, contact, uh, you know, people like uh, the people who are there in the other universities. So I hope Dr. Praveen would uh, contact uh, Jadapur University. Uh, uh, in 1980, I ha you know, had a chance to visit that university and uh, then I understood that, uh, that uh, they, they had uh, this film, film, uh, study, film study, you know, department. I think that it, it is Jadapur University who first started the film studies. So let this book reach uh, all the colleges, all the universities, at least in India, you know. I, I, I'm quite sure that uh, it, it is, you know, uh, extremely readable, uh, you know, that's a different thing. It will be helpful to uh, all teachers, especially college teachers. So this is my personal request to everybody, all the teachers, all the PhD holders, PhD scholars, you know, to do whatever you can to make this book uh, not popular, but this book, you know, accessible to as many teachers as you all can. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, your key keynote address was beautiful. It was a very lively and pleasant session. I think you set the right tone for the for this session of uh, releasing this beautiful book. So uh, uh, people like you, uh, learned men, continue to inspire uh, young people, young minds. So we are grateful for your presence and for your encouraging words. And congratulations to Dr. Pradeen Chandrasekhar. He is my good friend. Uh, we admire him very much. And, uh, we were colleagues uh, uh, at some point of time, so we still keep uh, cherish that friendship. Thank you so much. May I now request Miss Saritha. She's a my former student, and uh, she is a faculty of SD College, Alapura, uh, to formally thank uh, our guest and all the participants for this program for joining us. Yes, Saritha, take over. Thank you, sir. Respected Chief Guest of the evening, Sri Aishan Mugadas. Dr. Chandrasekhar and Praveen, my dear beloved Praveen sir, uh, dear friends, uh, all former students of Praveen sir, mostly teachers now, a very warm evening to each and everyone. It is indeed an honor uh, to be given an opportunity to speak a few words on this very special occasion. I thank Praveen sir for that. Before moving on to my duty, I would, with your permission, I would like to take just two minutes to share a few experiences as a student under Dr. Praveen. In fact, uh, when I think of him, I 
right away reach the government college of teacher education type card the 2011 batch uh, in which i did my bed and on the very first day of our class sir was away on some official duty but before going away he had very promptly uh, pasted a note inside the classroom asking each one of us to mail him a self introduction so even before meeting uh, him in person, we got a glimpse of the very professional, responsible teacher who was going to engage us throughout our VA. And another, uh, you know, experience that is still alive in my mind, and I should say it is also a turning point in my teaching career. Uh, it is related to teaching practice. Uh, in fact, uh, teaching practice is one of the most interesting and challenging segments of VA, as you all know. Uh, and as a student, I mean, a BA trainee doing uh, teaching practice in Trivandrum, I wanted to do it at schools like Cotton Hill or St. Mary's uh, School, Patam, all of which were reputed for their discipline, the good results, the good students and all that. But uh, I was allotted SMB government model boys high school, which is equally good, but you know, very famous for the boys only batch. Uh, the rough, uh, you know, demeanor of the students and all that. And I was really shocked. I, I was upset. I straight away went to Praveen sir and said, Sir, it is obvious I can't do my teaching practice in SMB school. How can I do that? I, I feel scared at the sight of the boys uh, in that school. They are boys only uh, classes. I'm very scared. Uh, I can't do this. And the reply that sir gave, you know, it, it continues to inspire me even now. He said, Sarita, take it up as a challenge. Uh, students who are already very disciplined, students who are already very good at studies, they do not need a teacher. They just need a guide. The true role of a teacher is to, you know, make the indisciplined students disciplined and to help the students who don't study well do it in a proper way. Uh, that is where the role of the teacher begins. So he advised me to take it up as a challenge and I can assure you that uh, the experience I had during the teaching practice at SMB school, uh, you know, it has taken me a long way in my career. I have found it very useful. It has given me a lot of lessons regarding what a teacher can and should do. And coming to Praveen sir's classes, he definitely introduced us to lots of, you know, innovative teaching techniques films in particular, we have just witnessed uh, the kind of uh, inputs that uh, he gave uh, to the students. Then also he, he gave us lots of sessions of this kind and even now I could see the same professionalism again as he presented uh, the, the details of his book. And I would like to say rather than anything he said or taught, uh, he has been a model whom uh, we can emulate. The way he works the systematic way he works, his professionalism, his commitment, everything has inspired all of us. I am sure all my friends here will agree with me. It has inspired us. He, he has actually shown us how a teacher ought to be and even the current activities that he's engaged in, uh, that uh, bringing all uh, the old students together, uh, giving a platform for everyone to meet again, express themselves, develop professionally. This is all something, you know, that goes on adding to the repertoire of ideas we have regarding what a teacher can and should do. So I would like to thank Praveen sir for that. And I should admit, as a BH student, I was too naive to appreciate his research output. It was only after I gained a few years of experience as a teacher and uh, started pursuing a PhD in ELT that I understood the value of his research. And I'm very happy that his research is coming out in the form of books, the most bitten bites on education, the most bitten bites on teacher education. All these are uh, volumes I have already purchased. And now this new edition, uh, and I'm very happy to note that it, it includes chapters from Sir's PhD work as well on films in the ELT classroom. Uh, so I'm, I'm very sure that it will be a valuable addition to uh, the corpus of knowledge in ELT and it will be an asset to all ELT practitioners and researchers as well, I'm sure of that. And we have been equally fortunate to have uh, Sri Shanmugadas here to release uh, Sir's book, a noted award-winning critic of films and literature. He is also a teacher, a very reputed teacher, 
and this rare combination of you know the literary uh, aesthetic and the teacher makes him the right person to be releasing this book today uh, on the use of films in the ELT classroom. Um, and I'm very happy that you know uh, unexpectedly uh, Sir asked uh, Shanmukha Sir to read by symbolically handing it over to me. I it's a real blessing and an honor. And now let me move on to my duty. Uh, on behalf of each and every one present here, and even on behalf of all those uh, students who are actually not present here, but are you know uh, ardently waiting for Sir's book, let me uh, extend my heartfelt gratitude to Sri I Shanmugadas for releasing this book. In spite of his busy uh, work schedule, he has uh, made the time to join this uh, meeting and release Praveen Sir's book. Thank you, Sir. Uh, he has actually published lots of interesting, uh, insightful books on um, films. He has uh, treated old films and new films with equal, you know, um, uh, uh, equal uh, critical, you know, awareness. And uh, the other day, I saw a video in which he was commenting on uh, the recent movie Churuli, and um, I'm very happy that uh, I could uh, be in a meeting with you. And thank you. Once again. And now let me move on to thank Dr. C. Praveen. And I don't think uh, I can thank you enough <laughs> because as a teacher, uh, you have uh, you know inspired me, taught me, and I'm sure uh, you will continue to do so. Whoever comes in touch with you will definitely you know have you in uh, their hearts. And thank you for starting such a wonderful initiative of bringing all your students together. And also thank you for the research material uh, you are regularly providing all of us. Thank you, sir, on behalf of each and every student uh, who has been under you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Let me also take this opportunity to thank uh, Rishmi Espillai, my dear friend uh, and my colleague under the University of Kerala who introduced the guest for the day. Uh, we have been uh, together on quite a few adventures now because we have, uh, you know, <laughs> registered for research at the same time and recently during the coursework exam at the university I had the uh, you know privilege of meeting her we had three or four days together so thank you Rishmi Chechi for being here and doing the honors thank you uh, let me now move on to thank all my friends here uh, all the students of former students of Praveen sir who have come here uh, to witness the book release I'm, I'm sure uh, all of you are teachers now, and uh, I hope that this, you know, endeavor of Praveen sir will definitely help you in uh, developing your career and in inspiring all your students. I'm sure all of you have taken time off your busy schedule, your uh, daily humdrum of work in order to be with uh, our dear beloved Praveen sir. So thank you on behalf of this, uh, you know, this camera on, on behalf of this entire group of former students that Praveen sir is forming. I, I'm sure that this will develop into a professional platform. In, in a short while, I expect this to develop into a platform, an ELT platform where resources will easily be shared, programs will be conducted, and I wish all success to this beautiful endeavor. So once again, if I have omitted anyone, let me apologize. And thank you once again. Thank you all. Uh, yes, uh, one more thing. Uh, a few of my uh, friends, uh, Professor jo Father Joseph John and a few others have joined. I thank them also on, on behalf of all of us present here. So, friends, thank you all so much. Father, thank you so much, Father. Uh, I thank you all for joining. If you have left out any names, please forgive us. Uh, so, thank you all. Mm -hmm.